just ordered something. I have no idea what I ordered. Okay, let's go and see Shenzhen and try to figure out if Shenzhen should be my next home. Can you see this like thing on my camera? It's because it's so humid. Crazy. Good morning. It's Saturday. Yeah, Saturday morning and I'm leaving Hong Kong already, but I'm coming back, so it's okay. I'm going somewhere very, very exciting or I'm very excited about going to this place and the place that I'm going to now is like the reason why I even came to Hong Kong so yeah very excited I know my vlogs since yesterday were all like excited happy I'm excited I'm happy but I am very excited and happy these days it's good to like make yourself excited and happy you know what I mean like it's good to be grateful and appreciate like I really appreciate the fact that I was able to come here like how awesome is that? When I was leaving Hong Kong last year, I thought I will probably not see this city in a couple of years or I don't know, but I'm here. Only a year later. And I need to go here and here and here and here and this is my destination also yesterday I said that I'm uh, probably really used to the heat by now after two months in Bangkok uh, so yeah I changed my mind it is freaking hot and I'm not used to the heat So it turned out that I can't cross the border here because I cannot get visa here And I've researched it online and it said that I can get visa here, so I don't know Internet lies sometimes and I'm so close. So now I have to go back to another station Look how close I am But I can't go there because I don't have a visa so close, but so far I made it to China! So excited. After two years, I'm reunited with China again. Only like a second ago, I was so tired. All I could think about is that I just want to go to my hotel and go to sleep or get some food. But now I'm so excited. Now I just want to explore China and I need to find a taxi because I don't think I can walk there although I think I don't even know I don't even know. I don't think I'm that far because I'm staying very central but yeah I'm gonna start sightseeing in Shenzhen with 7-Eleven If you ever come to China, try these These are my favorite cup noodles That's a pretty nice view. Look at this. And this building is so freaking gigantic. I'm super tired. I'm literally exhausted. Crossing borders and getting visas is never an easy thing. I just want to chill and get some food. But I know that if I stay in this room, I will never go out today. So I'll probably just try to do something now. Try to see a little bit of the city and then go back 
go to sleep early and then wake up really early tomorrow and have a full day here so yeah I've never told you why I'm here Shenzhen is probably not the most popular tourist destination uh, but yeah I'm here because I'm considering doing my masters here in Shenzhen or if I get accepted obviously but yeah if I get accepted and if I have to make a choice I just want to I just wanted to see the city first and I knew that since I was in Bangkok it's three hours away from here and I love Hong Kong as well so it was kind of like a good opportunity to come here and see the city and see if I like it I know it's really hard to see anything in one day or two days but it's better than nothing and I thought that it will be a fun adventure and I haven't been to China for two years I just I just really wanted to come here and I'm tomorrow I'm gonna go and see the uni I'm gonna try to like see the campus and maybe the dorm and like canteen and library and you know all that kind of stuff so I can have a better like perception of if that's something for me but I don't know at least I'm gonna have a fun trip. Okay, let's go and see Shenzhen and try to figure out if Shenzhen should be my next home. I'm gonna take a little walk around this neighborhood where I'm staying at. I think it's like, um, I don't know, but I think it's like the modern or financial district of Shenzhen. It's really like nice here. It's really modern. It's all like skyscrapers. See? McDonald's. I don't like McDonald's, but you know. Family Mart. This place brings back so many good memories. I mean, not exactly this Family Mart. It's a chain, but you know, Family Mart in general. We had a Family Mart right in front of our dorm in Shanghai, and it was open like 24/7. So after night out, we would always go there and like eat. I don't know. For some reason, it's just like a really place associated with good memories for me. They have family marts in Bangkok as well, but they don't have the same music. Like when you come in, there is this music playing. If you ever lived in China, you know what I'm talking about. I'll come in again just to record the music. No music. That's family mart music. I just ordered something. I have no idea what I've ordered. It kind of looks like a pancake. I have no idea what it is. I just said that I don't want meat. We'll see what it'll be. So that's how it looks right now. Oh god, I used to be so addicted to this. This is so good. I'm so getting it. This pancake thing is pretty good. I have no idea what it is, but it's good. And I'm watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Luckily, it works. And I know that I said the same thing in Hong Kong this morning. Oh my god, how crazy is that that I was in Hong Kong this morning? It feels like ages ago. But yeah, just like being in Hong Kong and here in China just really made me appreciate my life and appreciate what I have and that I was able to come here and be here. And I should also appreciate that I'm able to swim in this gigantic pool. It's pretty big. And no one is here. Life is good right now. It was a good day. I have a good feeling about this place so far. But yeah, we'll see tomorrow. And I also feel like I've been talking to this camera a lot today. So this vlog will probably end here. And then I'll make another vlog tomorrow.